Let's just check you out. Slept at a brewery, did you? Give it a rest. All in. Looks like he was had a heavy night. Today's lists. And these are the overnighters from the police station. Oh, thanks. Everything all right? Early for you. Yeah, staying ahead of the game. Eh? I'll have to lock you in, I'm afraid. Hopefully not for long, eh? Right. Can you get my brief? Colin Francis. Let's see if he's in yet. Excuse me. Is my brief about Des Davis? It's a straight swap, really. Just for today, so I can get home and study. Good night last night. Sorry. Nice strong coffee. Should help. Thanks. Biscuit, Hugh. So we've got you, have we? Is that a problem? I was only asking. Morning. Morning. Bribing the prosecution. What are our things coming to? He knows I can't be bought. But a man has to keep trying. Right, two months since I threw off the shackles and set up on my own, so uh, drinks tonight, I'm buying. Okay. I have to give Mira three weeks' notice. Joe? No. Uh, I can't. You boys enjoy? Morning, all. I'm changing courts. I need to get off. Cracking match last night by all accounts. Was it? I thought you'd have gone. It was a big game, wasn't it? Yeah, I was home studying. That's why I need to get off. This coursework's pretty heavy. I'm and me being in charge. Come on, you love it. Come tonight. Yeah. Help me celebrate. If you want to wait till more people can come. No, 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 no. It'll be fun. Just us two. I don't want my kids thinking bad of me. They should be telling them all sorts. The report said lighter fuel. The kids were safe in bed. Right away from the living room. They, they were never in danger. Why did you do it? I think she's got a new man. I was at her place babysitting for her to go out. It wasn't meant to be so big. It got smoky so quick. A really old sofa. It just went up so fast you wouldn't believe. So it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Neighbours were out, firemen, everything. They thought I was a hero. I wanted her to think that. But the kids were fine. They're everything to me. All I've got left. Regarding the bail application, I suggest you undertake not to see or contact your children. I couldn't bear that. Your chances of bail are already slim. I think you should take my advice. Do you have anyone with you today? My husband hasn't spoken to me since. Neighbor, friend? No one wants to know me now. Everyone on the estate saw the police car, you see. Do you think I'll go to prison? Well, hopefully not, but I can't promise. I'll explain your circumstances I and... Tell them I meant to pay it back, all of it. It worked for the other women. I wish it hadn't happened. Uh, me too. I was on a date. 
Took me a week to persuade her. Sorry. No, it's okay. There's nothing I like better than spending all night in a police station. It is a first offence. There's a chance you might get bail. My dad will kill me. He'll need representation then. <laughs> He's a solicitor. My sister's a clerk. Don't tell me your mother's a high court judge. Man, this would. Glenn, do you want me to stay or? No. no, that's all right. <sighs> Cheers. Everything okay? Yes! Or it will be, once you stop staring at me. How did the film end, then? Oh, they, um... Oh, they all died horribly. I didn't expect that. How was your uh, client? Oh, I shouldn't have taken the call. Come for a drink. Uh, my body is my temple. Okay. We'll go there instead. So, two months as your own boss. I phoned home, got the old clear. You can make a night of it. Mrs. Palmer worked as a dinner lady for Pembridge Comprehensive School. At the initial hearing, she pleaded guilty to the theft of eight hundred and seventy pounds from her employers over a period of seven weeks. Uh, the case was adjourned for pre-sentence reports, and these have been made available to the bench. I'm sorry. I don't think they have. Mr. Evans? I've handed them over. Are they here? So they are. You okay? No. No, no, I think I'm gonna be. Uh, Steve? Gotta take him to the bog. <coughs> what are you throwing up in there, do we? Sorry for earlier. It's alright. <coughs> Could you get a message to Hugh Evans? Called Clark. I need to see him. I'll phone the usher. These social gatherings were used to exert pressure on vulnerable women to part with large sums of money. Betty Palmer was a woman of little means, new to the area, looking to make friends. She heard the pitch. If you raise £1,000 and recruit eight others to do the same, you could walk away with £8,000. For her, this was a life-changing amount of money. Unfortunately, like many other women, my client succumbed. Uh, having no other means of raising the stake, she took the money from her employers, naively believing that she would pay it straight back after getting her payout. But she was unable to recruit anyone. The scheme had reached saturation point and no one would join. Her money was lost and she couldn't pay it back. Betty Palmer is aware that she did wrong. She's been dismissed from her job and shunned by her husband and the supposed friends who got her into the scheme in the first place. I hope you will consider these facts when you decide the sentence. Thank you, Mr. Singh. We will retire to consider this matter. Court rise. There's Mr. Phillips in the cell. He wants to see you. Thanks.
You can't help but feel for her. I did one of those pyramid schemes. And they do put the pressure on. I know from experience it's hard to resist. But it is still quite a serious offence, isn't it, Hugh? Yeah, uh, I'll let you discuss it and I'll be back in five, OK? Where are you going? Something to sort out. Charming. Is there a Mr Phillips here? I need a quick word procedural matter. Yeah. Wait a minute, Mr Mike. I thought you understood. Today we don't know each other. I can't plead self-defense. The witnesses will say it wasn't. Well, they're right, damn it. You could say it was. No. Please help me out. No. I told the police I saw nothing. This is as much as I can do. I gotta go. I'm breaking it here, you. Dad'll go mad. You haven't told them yet, then. You know what he's like. The phone man from the station said that I was staying with you, bonding with my future brother-in-law. Help me, for Anna's sake. I can't. She'd want you to do it. Change your statement. Say that it came at me. I can't lie in the witness box. I can't jeopardise my career for you. Tim! All right, well, let's just keep this to ourselves, for now, boys? All right? I knew a court. I tried, but... Sorry. Makes me wonder what happened to those I recruited. Thinking about it, it's unsustainable. We shouldn't be too hard on her. But she was in a position of trust and she abused it. She stole from her employers. You have to take her circumstances into account. I don't think we should send her to prison, and you won't persuade me otherwise. Long five minutes. Sorry? What have you decided? We're considering a suspended sentence. Well, we have There are no extenuating circumstances over and above those already considered. If you've come to the conclusion that prison is the only appropriate sentence, it should be immediate. What about a conditional discharge? It's within your power, but the guidelines and case law clearly indicate that custody is appropriate. I She's think She's not a textbook case. She's not your average thief. What's the point in us being magistrates if we can't look beyond the crime at the human being? And no offence, Mr Evans, but you are still training. I've worked in this court for eight years, but if you doubt my advice, I can ask the clerk from court one to step in. I believe he's fully qualified. Used to be an old hot air blowing system. Of course, it's all central eating now. My boss will go mad. No, it's not like I left the cell door open or anything. Well, it's not like you lost a mass murder, is it? No. Just an arsonist. Court rise. Case number five, Glyn Phillips' application for remand. Mr Phillips was arrested last night in the White Horse pub following Penbridge FC's home cup game with Swansea. He was charged with actual bodily harm following an incident when um, an opposing fan was punched several times and then hit on the side of the head with a pool cue. Um, this resulted in the victim requiring eight stitches. Um, as this was a particularly vicious and violent attack, prosecution objects to bail. Excuse me. Do you have something to say, Mr Phillips? It was self-defence. The bloke lashed out to me. Let the CPS relate the police report and then your solicitor can speak for you. But he doesn't know. Uh, if my client has new instructions for me... He will back me up. He, he was there. Hugh Evans, the clerk, he works here. He was there. He, he made a statement to the police last night. 
You'll vouch for me? Um, my colleague hasn't disclosed this evidence. Miss Cates? It, it doesn't seem... Um, it's only um, a remand file. Uh, Your Worship, I'd like to ask for a short adjournment to consider this new evidence. Uh, we will adjourn for ten minutes. Thank you. Right, right. Right, you tell who, I'll phone the police. We have to. I don't want my boss to know. Well, we could have a look first. OK, quick search, then I put the call in. What's he look like? We have taken into consideration your timely guilty plea and have decided that you will be given a conditional discharge. Would you like to give me your reasons? I'm satisfied she won't offend again. Any financial penalty? Yes. We order compensation of £300. Uh, how does your client intend to pay for this? Shall we say £5 per week? My client is on income support, so £5 per week. You're free to go. You OK? Well done. Being honest, I expected prison. We need to talk. What about? I've got another case. Your little friend next door. I didn't see anything. I said in my statement, so there's no point in calling me, is there? Sure, you could help his case. How if I didn't see anything? Well, exactly. You didn't see him start a fight and you were standing close by. Let it sound good come from the witness box. You could help your mate out. It's no crime being there, you know. He's not my mate. He's my girlfriend's brother. I took him to the footy, we had a few, and he flipped. There's... it wasn't nice. The guy only bumped into him as he was taking a shot. Right, so, a uh, bit of a fib to the police, then? Seemed easier. I didn't want to incriminate him, and I couldn't cover for him. Don't ask me to lie in a witness box. Get him off my back. Please. Bad news. What? I've had an escape. <laughs> That's all I need. Not my man, is it? One of Collins. Just passing it on. I was going to tell the main man. Thanks. Right. Well, I'll. Uh, I'll tell Glenn he doesn't need you. Thank you. What do you drink later? A few of us going. They're one of the best uh, hangover cures. Don't tempt me. It's not as if he ever explains himself. Just disappears on us. Do you have a minute? Yes. Waiting for Mr Evans, as usual. Good. Um, I just thought I'd let you both know that I'm going to be standing for the chair. Hope that's not a problem, Eric. No, no, no. Does Peter know? Yes, he took it very well. I think he's looking forward to um, a stimulating challenge. <laughs> Great. Biscuits are going down a street next door. I'd rescue them if I were you. No, no, uh, they're for everyone. It's a bit disloyal to Peter. You're standing. I don't play golf with him. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. If Mr Mansell were here, We've had a prisoner escape. Where? We believe he's still in the building. Is he armed? Of course he's not armed. Ready now? I'm happy to proceed. There's no new evidence that will add anything to the bail application. Yeah. OK. He said if we lost our contract with the court, it would me personally. Boys. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. 
Due to the seriousness of the charges, we are unable to grant bail. You will be remanded in custody, and your next appearance in this court will be in seven days' time. Court rise. Come down and see you now. So, um, tonight? No. Number four on your list, uh, Clyde McIntosh, charged with arson, and the matter is bail. Mr. Meadows? I request that the defendant remain in handcuffs, as he has just tried to escape. We agree. The facts of the case are that on the 15th of last month, a fire started at Mr. McIntosh's former partner's flat while he was babysitting their three young children. The fire caused considerable damage to the property. Uh, at first, it was thought to be an electrical fault, but the forensic report states that was not the case and that traces of lighter fluid uh, were found. Now, the issue today is whether the defendant should be remanded in custody or granted bail pending his appearance in the Crown Court. The events of today suggest that the defendant is likely to abscond. Mr. Francis? Uh, Clive McIntosh uh, is a family man. Uh, however, his uh, partner left him six months ago, taking their three young children with her. He misses her, and he desperately misses being a full-time father to his uh, beloved children. His struggle in coming to terms with this loss led him to this misguided and desperate action. In asking for bail, my client undertakes not to have any contact with his former partner or his children. The sales will be brought up to the required standard. I know. Yes. Fine. Send your report to Miss Catherine Tyrrell. She's the clerk to the justices. I'm just filling in. Bye bye. All right. I've just had a mouthful from the Trust Force people. Sorry, but. Um... Glyn Phillips has asked for another word. Could say I couldn't find you. Understand. Dad's not a bad man. But did what he did because... Because he loves you. And he won't see you for... Maybe a very long time? A very long time. But... <laughs> They'll be in your thoughts? Yeah, that's good. Pray that. I think that covers it. I'll send it on. You must dote on those kids. So much so we put their lives at risk. What's you call? Tim, I'd have thought, mate. Why did I pop down every morning to see the prisoners? You know, clock their faces like. Otherwise they could walk past me up there and I wouldn't know, would I? We're, um, discussing new security tactics. Great. Glenn Phillips, please. Ready, man. All right, see you soon.
You said your statement's gone. What happened to it? Could be at the police station. It wouldn't help anyway. You okay? What came over you, Glyn? You blew my shot. You wound me up. You bumped into you by mistake. I don't know. I shouldn't have gone on the whiskies. But it was just a fight. Fights happen. Sometimes I've been on the other end. Not very often, though. Oh, that's all right, then. Be okay, honey. I'll call your mum. Break it to her gently. Thanks. Don't tell her all the details. I don't want her to think that. It was the whiskey too. I lose it on the whiskeys. Stand round gassing all day. <clears throat> Floor shave, eh, who? Hey, just think. He could have been right above us. We were scratching our heads. You up for this drink, then? Don't know. <sighs> Who's going? Ed, me, you. A uh, call, maybe? No, Ta. If I wanted to sleep, I'd take a pill. Come on, he's not that bad. Well, yeah, he is. So help me out, because you owe me one tea, boy. Come on. No, him, we just have a half anyway. Just don't let me get stuck with him, all right? It's Peter's responsibility. He is still in charge. Well, yeah, I'm just surprised I wasn't told. Well, he was recaptured. Eric was very cool about the escape. Yes, he is good. Although it'll take uh, more than a few fancy biscuits to convince me he's chairman material. He's not the most dynamic of men, is he? No. Oh dear, I told him I'd think about nominating him. I'd be honoured if he'd nominate me. Okay. Excellent. Oh, and um, please don't think I was running Eric down. I think he's a very good magistrate, and he's very reliable. Anyway, good night. I'm grateful, yeah, for today. Well, we've got to look after each other. So in future, any legal aid queries? Don't push it. I'll be back now. If you don't come, I'll, um, I'll tell them everything. Well, I won't take long. What if I, uh, came by later? Oh, full of beer and curry. Come now if you want. Yeah? Call me in five seconds. Last one to the pub, get some in! I thought you were buying! I'll buy. Chris and Mike with you lot, so, uh. Hello? Yeah, when? Yeah, where? Oh, police station. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. Sorry, boys. Client. Got no choice. Could be an all nighter. You promised me, Des! Right! Cheers. <laughs>